Hi, boys and girls. Well, today we're going to look at ramps and wedges. And this one's got how toys work using ramps and wedges. So ramps, depending on how they're angled, create a slope. So when you hear somebody talking about a slope, they might also be talking about a ramp because the ramp is part of the slope. Well, let's look at how ramps and wedges work. Hmm. We've got our Sean Smith again. Table of contents. And right at the top, it says different toys. So I can tell there's going to be toys in here that have ramps and wedges. There are many different kinds of toys. Toys work in different ways. So we've got soft solids, hard solids. But most of them we know are solid because if we left them alone, they would hold their shape. There are some, let's see, ones I can build with. And I can use my imagination about what these robots would be thinking. Some animals so I can create a farm, something I can cuddle with. And then this one looks like a game that shoots something out. I think she's having a good time because I can see her smiling. Some toys use ramps. R ramp. R -a -m -p. Ramp. A ramp is like the side of a hill. Side of a hill. Wow. And remember how some hills can be gentle and then some hills can be really steep and hard work walking up them. You have to apply a lot of force to push your body up. A ramp connects a high place to a low place. So we've got high place low place. It's going to be our ground. Things can move up or down ramps. Well, since I see the arrow pointing down, which direction do you think this car is going? I agree, down. We can see the front of the car. Oh, and it's moving on its wheel and axles. Things can move slowly when they are pushed up a ramp. Things can move quickly when they are pushed down a ramp. So usually going up a ramp is really slow and coming down a ramp, much faster. Less force is needed here. More force is needed here. This marble run is a ramp. So down, down, down. This slide is a ramp. A wedge has a sharp edge or point. Is an edge, and here is point, edge, point. We can push wedges into things. So a wedge doesn't have to be wide. Think about the edge of your pencil that looks almost like a cone. Well, that's a wedge. And the point of this dart is also a wedge. Wedges can stop things from moving. So they put a wedge into the door or under the door so that the door would not swing shut. Wedges can cut things apart. So a wedge can be very sharp, like the edge of your scissors or the edge of this knife. The end of this shovel is a wedge. Wedge, because it helps dig into the sand. It pushes the sand apart, which helps you to be able to shovel it into your bucket. These toys have wedges. So if you have a Mr. Potato Head, it's got a wedge, wedge, to help it get into the hole where you're trying to place it. 
you push them into the potato, just like we were talking about. Which one of these toys uses a wedge to work? Hmm, which one uses a wedge to work? Is it A, B, C, or D? What do you think? Yep, you're right. It is B. They're using the wedge here, right up here. Good job, team. Well, there are a lot of ramps and wedges around your home. So take a look around and see where there's a ramp that helps make a job easier and where there might be some wedges. Just think about when you're cooking in the kitchen and you're cutting up your food, you're using a wedge. And when you are cutting on the board and then you tip it up to slide the food into a bowl, now you have created a ramp. All right, my friends. Take a look around, see where there are ramps and wedges.